hello guys welcome back to the channel on today's video we are going to go from having tent to having no tent the main reason why i'm actually taking my tent off the Porsche Cayman S is just the fact that I failed the inspection because well I have darker tent. I think that this tent was way darker and it was actually 20%. I knew that but I was going to the test hoping that maybe I can pass it. So now I just remove the tent so I can pass the inspection and actually get my plates delivered to me for the car. Now the process to remove the tent is fairly simple. I already started doing it on the other side. And I'm going to take you now on this window and show you how you can remove the tent from your car. It's very, very simple and you're only going to need a few tools. Anything that you're going to need is pretty much right here. You're going to need a heat gun. You can also use a hair dryer. You can also even use a steamer just to make sure that you can heat the surface of the window to remove the tent. Then you're going to need a razor blade and some kind of paper towel like that to kind of help clean up and also help start on the removing process. I'm going to show you the steps in a second. You're going to need a cleaning rug and something like this one which is actually just this OxyClean uh, multi-surface cleaner to clean up the glue that may stick onto the window if the surface is not warm enough. And uh, to help also on that glue remover, you can have that glitz cleaner with ammonia. The first step is really to heat up the whole window. It's important to, to heat up the whole window, especially on the tent side, because it's gonna allow the glue to actually stick on the film. So that's what we want to go ahead and do, heat up the whole window, and then that's the first step. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Make sure that when you heat up, you keep the, the gun probably around this distance, maybe six inches or 12 inches from the surface that you want to heat up. And also make sure that you don't stay in one spot. You have to constantly be moving so that you don't melt the film. Since we're going to start in this area, I'm going to focus now a little more on this area to get that up to temperature and we're going to warm up as we are removing the film. When it's really warm to the touch, that's really when you want to go ahead and start peeling. Okay, it's, it's very warm right now. So this is about where we want to be when we start peeling. So we found one corner and actually I will see if my nail, I can actually remove this portion. You can see when it's really warm, even with the nail, I can actually go ahead and start removing it like this and this is the job that actually that blade that razor blade was going to do was actually going to find an edge here so we can start pulling now that we have an area where we can hold to start pulling we go ahead and continue to heat up as we pull gently you don't want to do any force motion because you want you know all the glue to really stick on the film so you want to go ahead and heat up the area where you're going to pull the film and then start pulling the film gently and as you can see i have a minimal glue residue here because we heat up the area so we want to go ahead and preheat the area again and then just start pulling as you can see now maybe this specific area here got a little um colder that's what the glue is there so we want to make sure that we warm up a little more before we continue pulling this is just to avoid having you know extra glue here so we'll go ahead and warm up the whole area again just like that make sure that you don't stay in one corner and then we can start pulling gently a little bit as you can see it's getting leaving some residue here but you know what i think i should leave residue just so that i can show you how you can easily clean that up because if it is perfect then now i won't show you how to clean up so let me actually go ahead and remove it and leave a few residue just so that you can see how i clean it up after but normally if you keep doing the heat it should not leave any additional residue. So all these little things that you see here, that's the glue residue that we're trying to avoid. So technically, I'm failing a little bit on that area, but that's just because I want to show you how I'm going to clean all this up after. Because not everyone will have a perfect result. And on the other window, I had very good, great result. 
so I'm applying the same steps but not heating as much as I did on that side just because I want this glue so you can see how I'm going to actually um, clean that up after but if you apply a lot of heat then it should come near to perfect so let's go ahead and pull and it's coming out in one piece as you can see Okay, maybe I should just keep this amount of glue so that I don't have too much work to do. So let me start heating up a little more here. So as you can see this side, because I'm applying extra heat, it's coming out very clean compared to here where I didn't apply that much heat. You can see the difference between this side where I'm doing a lot more heat and this side where I just did a little bit of heat. When you're playing with the heat gun, be careful because I did burn myself a little bit right here. You can see the little mark right here. I burned myself and it does hurt. So if you look here carefully, I'm not sure if you can see, you will see all this glue right here is because that area is really that test area where I wanted to show you how I'm going to clean up. So I didn't apply that much heat here compared to here where you see it came out very, 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 very good because I did apply a lot of heat in this area as I was pulling. So this is the difference when you apply a lot of heat and when you don't apply, you know, any heat in there. So now let's go ahead and clean up this area and then finish this last window to have the whole car completely without tent. Pretty much to clean it is very, very simple. You spray this glass cleaner onto the surface, especially the area that has a lot of glue. So you spray, spray a good chunk. And now the area that is clean, you still kind of want to clean it. So you just spray. So you let it sit for maybe 30 seconds. And after you let it sit, you simply use that OxyClean pad thing to just rub off. And trust me, the glue is just going to come off. So we're just going to give it a little moment let it sit a little bit and start cleaning up that area. Since this area did not have any um, glue residue, I'm going to start just rubbing here. Just if there is any small amount of residue, that is going to take it out fairly quickly. So I'm starting with this side just so that the ammonia can work and the glass cleaner can do their thing on that corner. And then I'm going to make my way there. So as you can see, there was like little tiny pieces of glue residue around here. And with this little part, because it has like this texture, it's really helping to clean up that glue. So let's go ahead and tack, try to clean the glue. As you can see, it's coming off. So you, have, you just have to make sure you have that area always wet like this and then keep it, keep rubbing. And it's just going to come off. Apply a little bit of pressure and you can see it's really coming off. Just put a little more and it's that simple. Now, whenever you're doing the back window, because you have those lines, you want to make sure you don't use something that is too harsh on them because you, if you cut any of those lines, you won't have the froster on your glasses anymore on the back because that's what is defrosting your windows every time you press that button in the car. See, that's that area where I did not apply any heat. So, if you want to avoid scrubbing like this, okay. Perfectly smooth. Okay, now I can only feel this little dot thing. So let me just put my hand around just to make sure I don't have any residue anywhere. After you remove all the glue residue, just use the same glass cleaner and some clean towel just to clean up the window properly. And I suggest to do that on both sides, just so that the window is clean and you can actually see if you have any extra residue somewhere. So you do this. 
and now your window is perfect now if you have a car that has a frameless window i suggest that you also go in the car so that the window can go off so you can check if you have any residue on the bottom portion right here that's exactly what i'm going to do i hope you were able to learn from this video how you can easily remove tent from your car and now the finished product is nice and uh, i know i can pass my inspection now so on this note if you have a different way of doing this job please go ahead and put in a comment below so that i can also learn from yourself just like you did from me right now and again make sure that you subscribe if you like this type of video uh, leave a comment leave a like and see you on the next video thank you and have a blessed day